I know what that means. I know that reality as a student. I also know what it's like as a parent to drop your kids off at school in a public school, yep. not knowing if that would happen. And it's tragic. And we're we're praying uh, for these families, these victims, and the teachers and students, everyone affected. But the reality is, Dan, uh, we need to protect our kids in school the same way that Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, and all politicians are protected the same way we protect gold and precious jewels, the same way we protect a lot of money. And that's good guys with guns. There are a lot of reasons for me to dislike and hate Marjorie Taylor Greene, but I think this is the top one for me. To me, this screams, thank God those children, those high schoolers are defending our second amendment with their lives. In the wake of the most recent of our many, many school shootings that we have every single year in this country, this was what Marjorie Taylor Greene had to say on the matter. The old argument of the only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And to that I say, most of the time, it's a kid bringing a gun to school. So instead of trying to disarm the literal child bringing a gun to school, threatening other children, you are just going to add more guns so that more people have a chance of getting hurt and murdered. Because I don't care how often you say, guns don't kill people, people kill people. If you look at the statistics, countries that have stricter gun laws, I'm not saying completely take guns away, but countries that have stricter gun laws have lower gun-related deaths. That is just a fact. Even if I was the biggest gun nut in the world and I had a, a collection and I just I loved guns and I thought they were super neat. Right. And I wanted to keep them and I didn't want the government reaching in to take my guns. If I knew for a fact that getting rid of some of them, you know, the assault rifles and such that you don't need. And I knew that stricter gun laws were going to literally save children's lives. That is a trade-off I would be willing to make. It would be, wow, I really love my guns and I don't want to give them up. But children deserve to live more than I want to keep my weapons. But when you're paid off by the NRA, like Marjorie Taylor Greene, or you are J.D. Vance, and you're trying to gain the approval of your voter base because you're pulling abysmally across the board, you're going to advocate for guns over the safety of children, and you're going to throw in some warped logic about how more guns make the situation safer, which is just statistically not true. We actually have, have been able to run an experiment on this because you've got some states with very strict gun laws, and you've got some states that don't have strict gun laws at all, and the states with strict gun laws, they have a lot of school shootings. And the states without strict gun laws, some of them have school shootings too. So clearly strict gun laws is not the thing that is going to solve this problem. What is going to solve this problem, and I really do believe this, is look, I don't like this. I don't like to admit this. I don't like that this is a fact of life. But if, you're, if you are a psycho and you want to make headlines, you realize that our schools are soft targets. And we have got to bolster security at our schools so that a person who walks through the front door. It's actually a recorded statistic that states with stricter gun laws have less shootings, less school shootings, less shootings overall. So factually inaccurate, J.D. Vance. Also, I love that, the, that school shootings are just a fact of life, as though they've always been a thing. We've always just had mass school shootings every year in this country for like all of history. Don't you remember? Come on, kids, you want an education. You're going to have to risk your life for it. Also, why isn't it a fact of life in other countries? Why is it just a fact of life here? If other countries are able to not have school shootings, why is it just a fact of life in the United States. The mass shootings are because why? Because we have the Second Amendment that allows us to have guns. A lot of countries don't have the power to get guns as easily as we can, and that's the reason, because there's more so guns. The mass shootings are because of? More, more guns, more people. And if you have more guns, more people, more crazy people that have guns, stuff happens. 
I wouldn't blame the gun. You got to blame. But the you're kind of that's the reason for more gun control is that more guns, more crazy people, more bad things happen. I mean, when a crazy person with a gun comes in, how do you take them out? Another gun. So your, your answer to the gun issue would be more guns, more people carrying guns. Ironically, statistically, that's also incorrect. Turns out it is not most often that a good guy with a gun is the one who stops a bad guy with a gun. The New York Times actually did a, a piece on this showing that more often than not, something other than shooting the attacker happens. The attacker either leaves the scene, dies by suicide, or is subdued. Way more often than a good guy with a gun shoots the attacker. Has it happened? Sure. Yes. It has happened in the past where a bad guy has been stopped by a good guy with a gun. But do you want to know what's more effective, proven effective? Stricter gun laws. It makes more sense to disarm an attacker than to bulletproof vest everybody else saying, well, there's just always going to be an attacker. There's nothing we can do about it. I was 12 years old. I was shot by a 14 year old in front of my school. Huh. Gun violence has been present in my life for almost all my life. I lost many of my friends growing up to gun culture. So screw you if you think this is a fact of life that I should just get over tomorrow. There is a whole generation of school student growing up right now yep. having to deal with the threat of somebody coming into their schoolroom and killing their friend themselves, their friends or their teachers. The people making legislation on gun laws, the people saying that kids would be safer in schools if we add guns to the situation, didn't grow up doing active shooter drills the way I did, the way kids now are doing. They didn't grow up having false alerts where your teacher has to close and barricade the door and turn off all the lights and then you line up against the wall and you hide and you have to be silent because there's an active shooter in the building. They didn't grow up doing that. They don't know what that's like and they don't care. All they care about is the sweet, sweet money that they're getting from the NRA and getting votes from people who care more about being able to own 10 assault rifles in their basement than kids having a right to safely go to school and not worry about getting shot up. They don't care about your Second Amendment right. I want to be clear about that. I am not an advocate for taking away all guns. I believe in the Second Amendment. However, we need background checks. You, no one needs access to an assault rifle. What, what, are, what are you going to hunt deer with that? And the people who say, well, we're not hunting deer. What are you hunting humans? I think you need to see a therapist. These kids that are bringing guns to school more often than not, were able to way easily access them. It's way easier to access guns than it should be. You have stricter laws. You have less access to firearms. Less firearms <laughs> equals less people getting shot. That's just a fact. And if you're a Second Amendment nut, the only thing I can hope that you take away from this video is that the politicians fighting for your rights don't care about your rights. They don't care about your access to guns. They care about the funding coming in from the NRA into their bank accounts. Look it up. Marjorie Taylor Greene is funded by the NRA. You can look that up. It's public information. I highly encourage you Google it. Kids deserve a right to life more than you deserve access to all of your firearms. That's just, that is what it is. That's the point of this video right there. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.